Isaac Newton, I mean, just look at, you read his writings. You read his writings. The man was connected to the universe. He discovers the laws of optics, figures out that white light is composed of colors. That's kind of freaky right there. If you take your colors of the rainbow, put them back together, you get white light again. He discovers the laws of motion and the universal law of gravitation. Then a friend of his says, well, why do these orbits of the planets, why are they in the shape of an ellipse, sort of flattened circle? Why aren't they some other shape? And he said, you know, I can't, I don't know. I'll get back to you. So it goes, goes home, comes back a couple months later. Here, here's why. They're actually conic sections, sections of a cone that you cut. And they said, well, how did you find this out? How did you determine this? Well, I had to invent integral and differential calculus to determine this. Then he turned 26. We've got people slogging through calculus in college just to learn what it is that Isaac Newton invented on a dare.